Hey there, it's just a quick vid of my latest water heater. This one's going to be with the PEX tubing. There it goes. Holy crap, that's hot. Dang. I just started that. It just went through. That water is so hot you can't even touch it. All right, 140, 145. So quick talk through, we got the two by three lumber, top, bottom, and sides, back is quarter inch plywood, and the three quarter inch dowels right around the inner edge to hold up the glass. Then the internal structure, it's just going to be four half inch round 16 inch long wooden dowels and to put the tension on those I'm using eight of the screw thread eye bolts. Four in the corners and four in the center. As far as the stats and facts on this, I put a detailed page at the end of the vid, but let's jump into the build. Alright, now let's drop in the glass support. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is install the pipe with the support structure. To do that, I started by drilling the four corners and then the four on the inside. Beautiful. This seems to be an excellent way to do it. You can get the tension just right. You can feed them in as you go around. I got the 14 rings, just under two gallons as far as capacity. 
and then the entrance and exit. Now we snap on the connectors. Just line it up. By the way, this right here, it's just a trim piece. Goes in about an inch and locks in. Came out great, just letting it dry right now. By the way, there's no issue with the UV rays using the PEX pipe, it's perfectly fine. Since we're painting it, that acts as a barrier or a wall, so that no actual sunlight or UV rays are hitting the pipe. It's just hitting the black paint and primer. So it'll hold up fine. should hold up the full 50-year lifespan of the pipe. Actually, the connectors, the Shark Bite connectors, are just good for 25, so hey.